Now before we begin the quest, all the herbs required are found just north of the lodestone. Also, in case the La Rupita first do not sell in the Grand Exchange, or you're an Iron Man, then you can hunt the La Rupitas just north of the Ugalug lodestone. Now I'm not sure if the Taddy first work or not, but it just took regular ones. This quest requires a lot of items, so we're going to break this down into several portions, and I'll let you know exactly what you need for that portion. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Chief Tess and choose the chat options on screen. Next, speak to Balena. She is the human in the bank just south and chooses chat options on screen. After this conversation, you will now have access to the bank. Go ahead and withdraw these items listed on screen now. Next, speak to Charger. She is the chef just north. And choose the first chat option. Place the 8 achy tree logs onto the parapet, then the 10 eucalyptus logs. Then speak to Trigger once again and choose a second chat option. Use a spear honor and choose a second chat option. Speak to her once again while choosing the second chat option. Use two of your chompies on the spit rose, then speak to Targer once again. Light the fire pit and speak to Targer for the last time. Next, speak to Balnea in the bank. Choose the first chat option. For the next part, take these items. Then speak to Snark. She is found just southeast corner of the Uglog. Choose first chat option. Go ahead and use your stripy feathers on her. Next, grab these items from the bank. Speak to Balnea, choose the first chat option for both prompts. Next head to the building just to your east and speak to a ogre in purple clothing. Choose the second chat option. Use the hide honor, then choose the first chat option.
withdraw these items from the bank, you are more than likely going to need more. Speak to Balina in the bank. Then speak to Sigurd just northeast of the bank. Your task now is to chase all the bugs away from the surrounding pools using a mix of plants and a log. I suggest you pay close attention here as the tricky parts will be different for everyone. I could only help you so far in this part of the quest. At every pool there is a mound of colored stones. These correspond to a mix that you need to chase the bugs away. You can right click the mound of rocks and click on examine for more details. Here on screen you can see what each color represents given to us by Seagood. So in this case, brown and yellow. So we'll place a log and a tassium plant. We will fail this. This is part of the quest. Just make sure there's a conversation from your character saying that you got it wrong. Then next, speak to Seagood. So apparently the colors of these stones were changed by some troublesome kid ogres. Your task now is to find what plant corresponds to what color. It's simply a matter of process and elimination. This is the part that's different for everyone. Now I suggest that you look at how I do this first before you attempt so you don't burn through your resources with uncertainty. So let's start with the same pool as before. Also moving forward, all brown longs will be logs. So I'll use a log, then I'll try one of the five herbs. I'll try primweed in this case. And I got lucky on first try. So moving forward, in my case, all Yellowstones is Primweed. If you got it wrong, then try again with a different plant till you get it. Next, I'll head to the Eastern Pool. So brown, red, and yellow. We already have for brown and yellow. So now we have to search for red. So log, primweed, and I'll try lavender. And once again, I got very lucky here on the first try. So we've solved for brown, yellow, and red so far. As we solve for these, the process will be easier. Next, I'll head west of our first pool. Brown, 
brown, red, and green. We only need to solve for green. So log, lavender, and I'll try stink blue. And I got lucky once again. We solved for green, which in my case is stink blue. I'll move to the next pool. We need to solve for purple. So log, stink bloom, and the last two for me is either fever grass or tassium. I'll try fever grass. Huh, looks like this was wrong. So now we could confirm that purple is tassium and orange is fever. I could now clear all the ponds with certainty. After clearing all the pools, speak to see good. Then speak to Balnea in the bank, choose the first chat option. Then speak to the chief just north, choose the first chat option. Next grab these items from the bank. And head directly north towards the salt pool. On opposite sides of the pool, you're going to find some kebits, four of them to be precise. Use the traps to hunt the kebits. Use your plant on the trap, then light the plant and bait the kebit. Now I'm not sure if running around the trap will help or not, it's what I did. But if the kebit runs away too far, you'll definitely have to walk beside it and lure it back towards the trap. This is without a doubt one of those things that it could take you two minutes or it could take you 20 minutes. Once you've caught the four of them, head back into the bank. Grab these items from the bank. Now, just west of the bank, you're going to find some purple birds. Go ahead and set a trap, light a tassium, run around the trap to bait them. Do this until you caught five of them. Head back into the bank. Once you've caught all five birds, head back into the bank. Withdraw these items from the bank. Now for the last task, you're going to have to obtain some platypuses. Now just west of the chief's test, you're going to find some platypuses. 
And once again, this is one of those things. Two minutes or 20 minutes. It'll, it'll depend on your luck. Set up the box trap, burn some lavender, and then just walk around. Once you've caught all of them, head all the way east into the water near all those bushes. Then release them. Before you finish the quest, make sure to dismiss or hide any familiars you might have as it will interrupt the cutscene. And last but not least, speak to Balena in the bank. After the cutscene, the quest will be finished, so quest complete. 